And I ain't gonna lie to you I'm a bit nervous that I might screw Everything up that I've ever done But what's the point of living if you ain't having fun? I guess I'll try this, try that My miss, gotta find what I'm good at I guess I'll look here, look there Over where am I scared, where am I at? I gotta make it in this life Whatever makes me happy, know I'm doing things right Sipping in the summer on a goose and Sprite Or we'll find a nightclub for the end of the night oh. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials so guys, today I'll teach you new style of VFX and compositing animation with using Blender and setting on After Effects. Right, it's really simple and best tutorial for beginners. So guys, now I show you my final render preview. And guys, click on here. So guys, go to on preview and preview check. Yeah, see guys, that's my beautiful final render preview. It's really simple and best tutorial for guys beginners. So guys, now I teach you how I create this type of animation. So stop. And guys, I show you my render preview. See guys, that's my simple video footage yeah that's my only video footage and guys stop guys see that's my some compositing guys i create this type of grass and guys this element in blender so stop and guys go to our blender see guys that's my compositing and guys final render preview yeah see guys that's my final render preview Okay, so guys, now I teach you how I create this type of effect. So guys, go to on here. And guys, go to on file. And guys, I create new. So click on here. And guys, same. Go to on after effect. Guys, I create new composition. New project check. Yes, so guys, import your footage. So guys, click on here. And guys, I have footage. So guys, import. Simple drag and drop. Yeah. And guys, preview check. Right. That's my footage and guys now I create motion tracking so guys select and go to on preview last and guys tracking and tracker camera check and guys go to on here that's my advance so advance check and guys see that's my detail analysis check yeah okay so guys my tracking is finished that's my tracking points so guys preview preview check yeah so guys click Yes, see guys, that's my tracking points. So guys, now select your tracker points and guys right click. Guys, firstly set down as a plane origin and one more time right click solid and camera check. Yeah, see guys, that's my tracker and guys preview check. Yes, that's my simple tracker plane. Okay, so guys stop and guys go to our preview and guys now I import this tracker and camera in blender so guys firstly select your 3d camera and guys transform and see guys that's my position and origin so guys select go to on zero frame and copy so press ctrl c go to on blender guys this time i use this one that's my a to blender add-on so guys select and press delete key so guys now go to on camera here create camera check guys it's good and guys now see that's my default start on zero frame so guys shift layer like a one second like this and guys now this time select your camera and click on here see guys that's my focal length so guys same focal length so guys go to on again after effect and guys double click on this camera and see guys that's my focal length copy so press ctrl c and guys go to on here and focal length paste yes enter yeah and guys now i apply plane so guys go to on one more time here after effect and transform and guys see that's my anchor point position scale and origin check and guys copy so press ctrl c and guys go to on here can create plane check yeah see guys that's my plane and second one that's my camera and press zero so guys now next one I apply footage on this one. So guys click on here. And guys see that's my camera and background image check. And guys see that's my add image and apply video footage. Guys I have clear. So apply same clip. So select and open. Yeah. And guys see that's my opacity. Opacity I take 100%. And guys now go to back and preview check. Yeah. See guys that's my simple position and guys now i change frame rate so guys click on here that's my default 24 fps and guys go to on here 
and see guys that's my 23.97 fps so guys go to on here and i change frame rate like this yeah and guys now so guys this time select your camera and guys see that's my camera and guys yeah i change frame so guys increase like uh, here guys last key it's default like a 350 enter yes okay right okay so guys now this time i apply some objects so guys go to on file and import and guys see that's my fbx model guys i have fbx model and import yeah and guys see that's my collection and guys i create new collection so guys select your robot and drag and drop on here that's my new collection and i change scale size so right click select hierarchy and increase scale size like this yeah and guys rotate rotate your 3d model like this and guys i change position yeah see guys that's my simple composition and guys preview check yeah it's good right see guys that's my simple compositing yes okay so guys next one i apply this time guys go to on render setting and guys see that device gpu check and max amp i like 256 is good for me and go to on here film and see guys that's my transparency check yeah and guys now go to on here world property guys i apply hdri image so guys go to environment texture check and open guys i have lots of hdri image select and open yes and guys all is good and preview so guys click on here that's my render preview yes good right see guys that's my simple compositing and guys now you can apply more this robot 3d model so guys click on here and i apply more object so guys select and select hierarchy and duplicate so press ctrl c and v yeah and guys go to on here and rotate rotate like this yes and guys go to back and increase scale size so press s letter and scale size increase yeah good and guys now i apply more so guys same copy is dependent on your work and guys rotate your 3d model like second face and guys i change scale size scale size little bit change yeah so guys now go to preview yeah See guys, that's my simple compositing. Guys, I change little bit position. So guys, little bit position change. And scale size change. Yes, good. And one more time preview. Yeah, much better. Okay, so guys, now I apply more objects. So guys, select and duplicate. So press Ctrl C and V. And guys, go to on here. Guys, rotate like this preview check yes good and guys closer preview here yes okay so guys now i apply last object so guys i change this layout size okay so guys duplicate and guys go to on here and guys see that's my last object so rotate rotate like this more and camera guys position also change and guys preview check yeah okay see guys that's my compositing right it's looking really good and guys next one i apply grass effect so stop and guys one more time click on here render preview yeah that's my object and guys now i apply plane and guys second one grass so guys select your plane and guys little bit increase scale size it's looking good right see yes good and guys i apply more plane so guys go to on add and plane check so guys i change position position like this and guys randomly rotate rotate like this 
Yeah. And guys, go to on here. Yes. And guys, now I apply more. So guys, little bit back and guys, duplicate. So guys, go to on here and increase gain size. So smaller like this. Yeah, it's good. And guys, camera check. So press zero. So guys, preview. Yeah, it's good. See guys, the axe my simple plane. Okay, so guys, now stop and guys, little bit change. So guys, play camera and guys, select your this one. I change scale size, scale size change and position also change. Good. Yeah. Okay. See guys, the axe my simple plane. And guys, now I apply this time grass effect on this plane. So guys, select your first one. And guys, for grass, I use free add-on. Guys, see that's my free Biome Reader add-on. For how to install this Biome Reader add-on, I already create video. So guys, see that's my emitter. And guys, select this plane. So guys, click on here, Biome Reader add-on check. And guys, see that's my plant. And guys, see that's my different, different style of plant. So guys, select first one. So import. Yeah, and close. See guys, that's my grass. And guys, go to an object and apply and all transform check. Yes. See guys, that's my simple grass model. And guys, now I apply same different style of grass on second one. So guys, see that's my plane. So change plane. This one, that's my second plane. And biome reader add on check. And guys, I change different style of grass. This one, like a second one. Yes. And guys, close and object and all transform check. Yeah. And guys, lastly, select this one. And guys, same. So click on here, I meter and apply third one, plane third. And biome reader add on check, open. And I like three. It's looking really good. Okay. So guys, close and apply same or transform check. Yes. See guys, that's my simple grass. And guys, go to on camera and guys, go to back. And preview check. Yes. Guys, take lots of time because that's my heavy effect. It's take little bit hanging PC. So stop. And guys, now I apply this time light. So guys, for light, I use simple sunlight. So go to an add. And guys, see that's my light. And use sunlight. So go to an up. And guys, see that's my light. So it rotate little bit like this. And guys, yeah, good. And guys, little bit back, good. And guys, now I change light setting. So guys, strength, I like two and angle like a 20. And guys, now duplicate this light. So press control C and V. So guys, go to on here. Yeah, little bit back. Yes, so guys, press zero. Yes, see guys, that's my simple compositing. And now, Guys, render preview check. That's beautiful compositing. Okay, so guys, now stop. So guys, click on here. And guys, this time, select this plane. And guys, go to on here. And guys, I create shadow effect. So guys, for shadow, go to on here. Visibility. See guys, that's the masking. So shadow catcher check. Yeah. So guys, same. Select this one. And shadow catcher check. And third one, plane. And shadow catcher check. Yes. And guys, lastly, I take one more time plane for shadow for this one. So guys, I increase scale size, scale size increase like this and more. Yes. And guys, see that's my, you know, and X axis change like a 15 is good. And Y axis increase like a 30. And guys, go to on here. Like a 25 is good. Y axis 25. Yes, good. And guys, now simple. So select and guys, see that's my hair visibility and mask and shadow catcher check. Yeah, that's it, guys. So one more time preview because that's for my only shadow. So, guys, one more time preview check here. See, guys, that's a beautiful compositing, right? It's looking really good. And guys, go to on first frame. Yes, good. And guys, increase more. Yeah. 
right okay so guys click on here and guys now preview check i change render setting that's my final render setting here output so guys click on here and output change so guys click on output and guys i create folder for render like a render enter and take any file name yes and accept check okay so guys now go to on here see guys that's my file format i use this one video so guys go to on here encoding so guys see that's my encoding so i change quick time check yes and guys see that's my video code i use qt animation yeah good and guys i create transparent size so guys go to on here that's my rgb that's my format transparent render yeah see guys that's my simple render setting and guys frame rate change so guys now i show you only one frame render so guys click on here yeah see guys that's my beautiful render right okay so guys now go to an after effect guys i already create render so guys go to an after effect yeah and guys close go to an after effect here and guys project and right click import and import file guys i already create render so guys go to on here that's my render here and select file and import and guys press ok so guys click on here render and drag and drop on main com like this and guys see that's my track solid point and uh, check and guys preview check yes see guys that's my beautiful compositing right it's looking really good right and guys i change some color correction so guys go to on effect and guys firstly i apply curve tool so curve select guys i increase little bit brightness and contrast little bit more yeah and guys contrast little bit change yes and guys next one i apply sharp tool sharp so guys apply and guys amount i like 10 simple yeah much better see guys that's my really cool compositing okay so guys now i show you my final render preview so preview check yeah see guys that's my beautiful compositing it's looking really cool right okay so guys that's it my final work is finished